whatever. Let's go right ahead and do this, because, uh... I kinda wanna get this shit done, okay. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah. I may have said that we're gonna be going into the wild area right now before we go into this gym. I just realized something. Screw it. We're here. Let's get it done. Let's just freaking get it done, and then we'll do some side questing afterwards before we get to the Pokemon League, because, you know what? There's no need for side questing right now. We're right here, right? Okay, okay, so in this gym right here, you're going to be facing off against the Dragon-type gym leader. And, well, my Pokemon are up to level. They're, they, they really are up to level. They might struggle just a tad bit, but guess what? We need a gym battle where we actually struggle just a tad bit. Just a little bit, you know? Just a little, 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 little bit. Okay, so here we are in the Hammerlock Stadium. We've already, we've already been here before. All we need to do now is just go straight up and talk to this guy. He's like, the long gym challenge is nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face the Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the Dragon user Ryan? Ryan or whatever he is? Yeah. In that case, please, please use the changing uh, room to change into your uniform. Whatever you say, homeboy. So, we're going to be getting dressed up and everything ready to go. And, well, let's see. That uniform you wear is a symbol of all your victories. I feel your determination. Now, head to where all the gym trainers wait. No, not the stadium, but the vault. The hell? The vault? So, this is new right here. So, in the final gym, guys, there is only one gym leader. That's it. That's why we're not showing anything else in Pokemon Shield except for this. We are playing Pokemon Sword right now, but as you can see, we got a little bit of a history lesson ready for us. Let's see, how many gym challengers are left? Huh, not even 10, eh? All right then, Draven, time to explain the Great Ryan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is to defeat the three gym trainers that I personally train in double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off that brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. That's probably more than enough out of me. Time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. We're going to be taking on... Uh, all these gym leaders, or all these gym challengers, in double battles right here. Yeah, that's me, Sebastian. Leader Ryan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are, fero are, are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully, fully util utilize that power. Okay. So, here we go. We're going to be taking on gym trainer Sebastian. Now, his deal is this. He will try and trigger the rainwater conditions as soon as the battle begins. So don't let, don't let him wash you away, guys. And luckily for us, we do have an electric-type Pokemon right there with us. So, not only does this drizzle benefit us, or benefit Sligu, but it also benefits us. So we're going to go with a Dazzling Gleam, and then we're going to go with an override, Overdrive. And uh, hopefully, just hopefully, we defeat both of them at the same time. And as you can see... Pelipper has been defeated thanks to this whole new uh, drizzle thing that we got right here. And well, more experience points. Dumbledore growing levels. And here comes a water pulse. Bam! Hits Dumbledore. Doesn't confuse us, but here comes Dazzling Gleam. And there goes Sligu. <laughs> See, that wasn't that hard. Kinda. I don't even know. <laughs> Okay, so we defeated Sebastian. Doubles! There's a lot of uh, lot to think about with, with them. It makes them difficult, but fun too! And yes, we got ourselves more experience points and all that crud. I can see why you've managed to make it this far. Alrighty. Okay, so that's one down, two more to go. Time to face the second trainer. Come on, Camila. Camila. You wouldn't you wouldn't think that she's named after the uh the, the, the one of the royals, right? So, the next trainer right here happens to have a fire-type uh, capability. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to keep Dumbledore on the team, but we're actually going to switch her up to... or We're going to switch Blitzkrieg up with Michelangelo, since it is a, a water-type uh, Pokemon. And what we're also going to do 
is we're actually going to use another lemonade onto our Dumbledore right here. So, look at that. Advantage us. Let's go. In double battles, it's important to figure out what role each your, of your poke, uh, opponent's Pokemon play. Do not worry, I already know what we're going to be doing right here. And here we are taking on gym trainer Camilla Parker Bowles, I believe. And here she's coming out with a Nine Tails and a Turtonator. And well, this is looking pretty bad right here. Nine Tails has Drought, so this powers up any kind of fire type Pokemon right here. Camilla likes things a little bit harder, and she'll trigger harsh sunlight with her nine tails to try and roast you in battle. And well, something's uh, up right here. This is not effective. So what is going to happen is uh, we're gonna just uh, yeah, we're just gonna straight up attack Tur Turdinator first. And what is going on right here? Shell trap. Okay, so shell trap is going to be. I'm pretty sure it's going to be hitting us like that, and look at this, it's going to lose a little bit of its defense, and here comes Shell Trap, and what does it do? Bam! Hits us both. Dumbledore gets hit pretty hard, and here comes a Will-O-Wisp attack, and this one's going to be hitting our Michelangelo right here. Holy jeebus. Okay, so let's go. Shell Shock. Not Shell Shock, but you know what I mean. Psy Shock nearly defeats Turdinator, and well... We gotta do this again. And while this is happening, let's go with the liquidation to nine tails right here. So liquidation to nine tails. And it takes a nice amount of his HP. And here comes a flamethrower attack. And this one right here will definitely hurt a, a Dumbledore just a little bit. So that's that right there. And here comes a rock tomb. And wow, lowering our speed right there. Aho move. And well, let's see. Let's go with Quack or the Foul right here. I have a good feeling about this one right here. So Quack or the Foul. Meet this guy, Turtle Nader. And let's go with a little bit of liquidation right here. Here comes a Will-O-Wisp attack. It's going to go to well. Yep, it's gonna go to Michelangelo yet again. So here we go. Liquidation. Oh yes, defeats Nine Tails. So there goes their advantage right there, and well, that's more experience points for all of us. And here comes a Brick Break attack. Not so effective, but guess what? We defeat Turtonator, and well, Baconator grows to level 52, Quackor grows to level 49, and Camilla Parker Bowles has been defeated. The weather is fickle. Victory and defeat are even more fickle. And well, you know. I don't know what fickle means, but it is what it is, right? Fantastic! I could see the I could see those seven badges you have were were well earned. Yep, they were. Alrighty, so we got one more trainer left, and well, Ryan is saying you made it to the uh, third and last trainer. Your moment to shine, Aria. And of course, she's doing her little uh, catwalk right here. Catwalk, catwalk. Okay, so before we do anything, again, make sure to heal your Pokemon, guys. It's uh, very, very imperative because, uh, yeah, you don't want to mess up right here. And, uh, well, let's see. We got to do that. And use that. Not that. Not that. And then who else? Let's see. Not a revival route. Let's go with uh, a revive right here. And uh, let's finish it off with a super potion. Quite a few super potions right here. Look at that. Okay, so we are square. Now, this next trainer has a combination of Pokemon. An ice type, a nice, a dual type Pokemon right here. Ice and grass type and dragon and fighting type. Can you guess who it is? They do have a common enemy though. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, let's do this. They do have a common enemy. Let's go with these guys. And let's see what the homegirl has to say right here. Okay. A double battle. Do you combine the strength of two Pokemon to push through, or do you have one of them support the other? Let me see what your strategy is. And here we go, guys. The last gym trainer, and it's Aria, and she is going to be coming out with an Obama Snow and a Hakmo'o. Yeah, kind of reminds you of a Pokemon that we had, and now we do have in Shield version. Okay, so here we go with a Snow Warning. I don't know how this actually benefits anyone. 
So let's go with the Dazzling Gleam and let's go with a Flame Wheel, finish Obama Snow real quick. So here we go, Baconator ready. Baconator does the uh, Flame Wheel and Obama Snow has been defeated just like that. Oh yes. And let's see, well, Hakumo'o going with the Shadow Claw right here. And that really does take a nice amount. So here we go, Dazzling Gleam. And that is that. And I almost sneezed right there. Okay, so look at that. Getting more experience points. And Arya has been defeated. Cooperation between trainers and their Pokemon just brings out their strength even more. It does. It really does. Okay, so that was that. I am honored to have uh, battled against such a talented trainer. Of course. Ryan is uh, approved of us. He's like, nice one, Draven. You've completed my gym mission. Come on. Time to head to the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Okay, alrighty. So that was an easy, easy, uh, well, gym mission. Most missions have you, you know, basically do a lot of, uh, you know, hoops and bounds and all that crud. But in this one right here, it's just a straight up double battles right now. So we're going to get ready for our next gym battle right here. And, uh,. Well, I already know what Pokemon this guy's going to come out with. So what we're going to do right now is switch out our Pokemon. And we're going to start off with good old Optimus Prime right here. All right, bring it on. Let's go out straight to our people right here. And you can hear the glass break. Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. All righty. So here we go. The last gym leader of the Gala region, Ryan. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though, I've got to admit, I didn't think it'd be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from a Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon? Do you have any idea how, just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, uh, I Ryan, will have to show you. Gym Leader Ryan doesn't simply control the weather. He seeks, or he also seeks two-on-two -two battles. You must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go, guys. It is time. We're taking on Ryan, the gym leader of the uh, well, Hammerlock Gym. And here he's coming out with two Pokemon, a double battle. Now, this is the first time we're doing a gym battle in double battle since... Jesus. Yeah, since uh, Pokemon, uh, what was it? Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire. Let the winds blow! Stream forward, Sandstorm! Okay, so this is some BS right here. We're going to use this on that, and we got to switch out our Pokemon right here because uh, this is not looking good right here. Who is good enough to take on that? Okay, so let's go with Dumbledore right here. Might hurt us, but guess what? We're going to... We're actually going to do some damage right here. So Dumbledore, let's come out right here. And, well, here comes a breaking swipe. Doesn't affect Dumbledore. Of course, it's a Dragon-type move. But, yes, that right here will lower our, our attack right here. And, of course, Flygon's Levitate will actually just not will protect it from this, this whole damage right here. So right now, we're kind of just uh, shooting ourselves in the foot right here. Alrighty, okay, so here comes Gigalith with the Rock Blast, and so far Dumbledore is not faring too well right here. Holy crud, and he hits him with five freaking attacks, good god. Just our luck, fucking shit. Okay, so, alright. Okay, I got, I got a little something for your ass right here, let's go with Quackor the Foul. Alright, Quackor. You don't like me, and I don't like you, but guess what? We got to do some stuff right here. So, here we go. Let's get a body press. Actually, let's screw. Let's let's uh, let's switch this around. Let's go with Flygon right here, and let's go with a Brick Break to Gigalift right here. Let's go. Breaking Swipe, hitting both Pokemon right there. And so far, we're just not we're not very too well right here. Oh my God. Okay, so here comes a drums a beating. And it is not so effective, but it lowers his speed. Here comes a Brick Break. And nearly takes out Gigalith. And here comes a Stealth Rock. 
so now we're kind of a little, yeah, we're kind of trapped just a little bit right here, guys, so, yeah, we're getting hit with a uh, freaking sandstorm and not those guys, okay, so, let's go, it drums a beating, and let's go again, brick break onto Gigalith right here, so, here we go, drums beating, and nearly takes out Flygon, but it does lower his speed just a tad bit more. Here comes Brick Break for the win. Say goodbye to Gigalith. Holy crud. Holy crud. Okay, so look at that. Michelangelo grows to level 53, and here comes a Breaking Swipe, which will lower our attack even more. Good God. Yeah, so we're... <laughs> Yeah, we're not faring so freaking well with this one right here. So let's go right ahead and get buffed by more freaking Sandstorm. And Ryan is going to come out with Sandaconda. Now, Sandaconda is that ground-type snake Pokemon that we've seen. I think it's yeah, I think it's a good enough time to actually use Drunk Beating against Sandaconda. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Brutal Swing. Yeah, we got to hit everything. We got to hit just everybody inside right here. So here we go, Sandaconda, eat this, and there we go, speed is lowering, and here comes a brutal swing, bam, hits everybody, and Flygon has fainted, alrighty, so that takes two, and, well, Sandaconda is using his glare attack right here, this is not cool at all, oh crap, oh crap, okay, so, here we are getting buffed by the storm, and already we're at a disadvantage. And here he's going to be coming out with a Duraludon, which that is his Dynamax Pokemon right here. Now, it is a it is a Dragon type Pokemon, so just be aware of that. Let's go right ahead and try and damage it just a tad. And well, let's see, Brick Break onto this guy right here. So. Uh-oh, here he goes. Bring the storm! My partner will sit. Everyone in the stadium flying. So here he goes. He's about to Dynamax his Pokemon. Oh, jeez. And look at that. Duraludon. Look at that big tower he is. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so now we're kind, of at a, uh, we're kind of at a disadvantage right here. Here he comes with a max spike. And this one takes care of Optimus Prime. One, two, three. And the defense has just increased for everybody right here. And, well, Optimus Prime, you did your job. But, oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, so I got to come out with another Pokemon. But this guy is throwing out his glare attack right here. Okay, so the, storm, the Sandstorm has subsided now. We got to do something about this. Alright, okay, so, actually, hold on just a sec, let's go, this guy only has two weaknesses, and right now, we have none of it, so we, we can't use any of it, so, what's going to happen right here is, we are going to try and get rid of, uh, Sandaconda right here, and, well, let's see, liquidation to this guy, and hopefully we do have any kind of, like, healing items here that can actually help us out. So let's go with a Max Potion to Quack or the Foul, because this is going to be the Dynamax Pokemon we're going to be using. So there we go. Quack or the Foul grows back up. And here comes a Liquidation Attack. Finish off his weakest Pokemon first. Sandaconda defeated. And here comes a Sand Split. And God damn it! A Sandstorm again. Good God, I really, I can't stand these freaking sandstorms. Should have used those glasses. And look at that, Quack or the Foul. Learning a new move, which is Slam. I gotta, I gotta see what it does, so hold on. Yeah, it's very inaccurate. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so Blitzkrieg grows level 51, and here comes his last Pokemon. And this is a Max Knuckle attack right here. And it almost wrecks Michelangelo right now, so look at that. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and use a jaw lock to this guy. Screw it. Dynamax, Max Knuckle. 
onto this guy right here. It's time. Bring it. Now, he only has, I guess, one more turn to stay Dynamax, so this right here gives us a, a distinct advantage. So let's go right ahead, get it going. That's right. Quack or the foul. Dynamax. Oh, yeah, now this is a problem right here. A huge problem for Duraldodon. And here comes a jaw lock, doesn't do much. He can never run away. Here comes a max knuckle. Will it do anything to our Pokemon? And it does. Michelangelo has been defeated. Good gravy. This guy, this guy's good. Okay, so that happened. And here comes a max knuckle from Quack or the Foul. This one doesn't really do much. Jeebus criminy, okay. And yes, we're getting buffed by the storm right here. So, most of our Pokemon are out except for Blitzkrieg right here. So now, let's see. Yep, you know what? Screw it. Blitzkrieg. Let's go for Blitzkrieg right here. Okay. Alrighty. And as for, oh, Blitzkrieg, he gets hit by the, by the stone. And because of that, there is no more Gigantamax for Duraludon. So now, oh yes, he's going to pay for it dearly. Let's get it. Max Knuckle, super size him. So here comes a breaking swipe. That right there takes a good, uh, good chunk out of our H or our attack right here. So here comes Overdrive, and that right there takes care of Duraludon. <laughs> and there he goes. Oh, yeah. And Baconator grows another level. I am feeling happy. Baconator is now learning Fire Lash. Let's see what we can actually change. Let's see what we can actually trade it for. Let's see. It's a much stronger move. Oh, yeah. Let's go right ahead and switch it out for Flame Wheel. And there we go. One, two, and three. No more Flame Wheel. Fire Lash it is. And look at that. Quack or the foul. Smiling at his victory. We've defeated Ryan, the gym leader. <laughs> I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. Not really. Don't take a selfie, man. You you just, yeah. So, yeah. I think I made the right decision to actually go ahead and battle this guy before I even went into the wild area. So, Ryan right here is like, in the aftermath of this furious battle... I feel as a as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival? Seems I'd grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory, the Dragon Badge. So there it is, guys. We have finally earned the final badge in the Gala region, and look at that. A complete badge set right there. Now we can capture any Pokemon we want, any level. There's no restriction. And now with your win, now with your win, you're or now win your way through the semifinals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in here or in battle here today. Alrighty. Okay. So after defeating Leon. Bam! We, uh, they're just saying that they're looking forward to seeing us at the Champions Cup. I look forward to seeing you do it in battle, and of course, Ryan is coming out. And what does Ryan have to say this time? Sorry to hold you up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, here, TM99, it contains the move Breaking Swipe. This move right here, holy crap, this move is, uh, an asshole move but a very effective one in a double battle right here. The user swings the tough tail wildly and attacks opposing a Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stats. And secondly, here's the, uh, here's the dragon type gym uniform, the mark of a true strength. Look at that, we got ourselves the dragon uniform. Number six challenger, Draven. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region at the Champion Cup. Oh, crap. Here we go again. Ryan, I'm here just to see how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. 
don't worry, I'll give you a battle that will make you uh, want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies, and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle it. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to beat you and Draven and even Lee. I'll be seeing you, Draven. Let's uh, have another epic battle someday. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go hard, train hard at the wild area. That is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, let's see. I don't think we're completely done right now, guys. So we're just going to step outside and see what ends up happening right here. So after defeating the last gym battle right here, your girlfriend and uh, her grandmother are here. Hey, Draven! You gave Ryan a good thrashing, and th that means you've completed the gym challenge. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there's some things we should talk over. Yeah, don't say. Wonder what she wants to say. The light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it's said that the giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Gallo region. It certainly seems that to be my uh, that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using an energy from a wishing star that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing or how to or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes are actually were. The legendary sword and shield. Sonia, my dears, my lab coat is yours now. Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of it as something uh, to help you finish that work. Wow, she got promoted. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I'm gonna say let, let, it looks great. Yeah, yeah. The two heroes that protected the Gallo region from the darkest night. And the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned. It's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be one of the the one to take down Leon, and I don't know, I don't want to miss that. Not not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. You just focus on getting to Winden or Winden. Go on, head to the station and you miss your train. Okay, so yeah, that is pretty much it right there, guys. Um So like I stated before, guys, I am actually going to go to in the next episode before we even head to Winden we're gonna go to the wild area we're gonna be capturing a lot of Pokemon we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in fact there's gonna be a lot of my Pokemon going back for pokey jobs because uh, we need to build up our teams now we got Pokemon gym battles uh, done and now it's time for the quote-unquote elite four battles which is basically a playoff bracket and believe it or not I will be showcasing both playoff brackets or both type of playoff brackets in both versions which is sword and shield so yeah just be aware of that and you know what I might even show you guys the footage of uh, hmm I might even show you the footage of how I fared against uh, the hammerlock gym leader in shield version because it, to me it looks like I'm gonna be faring a little too well in that version so Again, guys, thank you all for supporting this video, channel, and everything else. Stay safe out there. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. See you guys.